one of those yes, ugly black babies, okay? Do. In Mississippi, 72% of aborted babies are black. The numbers also show that more than a few white children are regularly aborted. It's a shame when anyone is murdered, even when the murderer happens to be your own mother. Many women are led to believe that their child isn't a person until it's actually born. When do you think life starts? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's controversial. I don't mm -hmm. know that it's really relevant to relevant to the to the conversation. But I mean, okay. for me, I'm a mother of three children. Um, mm -hmm. For me, life began when I delivered them. Many naysayers will tell you that the majority of Planned Parenthood's operation doesn't involve abortion. Well, can we get rid of the percent that does involve abortion? The work of Sanger is still alive and well today, with the likes of Mrs. Clinton singing her praises. I admire Thomas Jefferson. I admire his words and his leadership, and I deplore his unrepentant slaveholding. I admire Margaret Sanger being a pioneer in trying to empower women to have some control over their bodies, and I deplore statements that you have referenced. That is the way we often are when we look at flawed human beings. There are things that we admire and things we deplore. I rarely agree with Mrs. Clinton on anything, but she's right to point out that President Jefferson also treated blacks in a less than human fashion. He should also be known for the 1807 Act prohibiting importation of slaves. Yes, Jefferson was a slaveholder, but he included bold anti-slavery language in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence that was removed. As president on March 2, 1807, Jefferson signed the act prohibiting importation of slaves. This act took effect in 1808 and was the earliest allowed under the Constitution. So the next time someone demands that you give up your rights to save just one child, remind them that their pro-choice stance has killed millions since Roe v. Wade. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. You have 43% of all abortions performed in this country performed on black babies. We're only 12% of the population. In the state of New York in 2008, more black babies were aborted than born. Now, it doesn't matter what your politics is on that again. Those numbers, though, are very troubling when you talk about just 7% of the population. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.
Well, if you have a PC, you're probably familiar with McAfee security software. And the man who put that together is here in the studio with us. Nice to meet you, Mr. McAfee. Nice to meet you, David. Uh, we first caught up with you when you were on the run from a corrupt government, and I guess uh, we're all on the run from a corrupt government to one degree or the other, aren't we? To one degree. <laughs> there, are, there are very few non-corrupt governments around. You've got an interesting application we want to talk about today. I think it's going to have a real important effect on people because so many people look at what's happening with the NSA and they say, well, I've got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize to what depth their life is being surveilled by even their phone, especially. And you've got an app that addresses that. Absolutely. Uh, we have an app called Cognizant. It's coming out in uh, five days that uh, will analyze every app that you have installed and tell you what it's actually doing. You know, it'll tell you which apps are uh, turning on your camera, uh, taking videos, mm -hmm. listening to the microphone, uh, using your phone to make phone calls on your behalf, reading your email. Uh, and it sounds like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, something out of a, a fiction book, yet half of the apps that you have installed are doing th very similar things to this. You know, there was a story just came out today on Wired Magazine, and it was, how do you stop the NSA from spying on you through your webcam? And they went back and they talked about the flame virus that was caught yeah. in 2012 and said, well, actually, we think that went back to 2007. And Alex has been talking about this for the longest time, and he would say that he put a a post-it over his uh, webcam on his computer and people look <laughs> at him and laugh and say, oh, you're this tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist. Mm -hmm. Now they're openly admitting it. <coughs> and I thought it was interesting that Wired Magazine's recommendation was just do exactly what Alex was saying. Put a piece of tape over it, something solid right. where they can't see because that's really the only defense that you've got against that. Right. Well, the webcam on your computer is, is a minor concern compared to the smartphones that we all carry with us. Mm -hmm. You don't spend 24 hours a day in front of your computer. That's right. We all carry our smartphones. Yes. Um, and many of the apps you give permission at any time they choose to turn on the mic and listen to anything in your environment mm -hmm. and then send that information back to headquarters or, or whoever is listening. The Bank of America, for example, uh, in their online banking app, um, you give them the permission to turn on the camera and microphone any time wow. that they choose. Now, wow. it makes common sense uh, because if you empty your bank account uh, using online banking and they say, well, I didn't do that, it wasn't me, you know, it's your fault, uh, they can say, well, it looks like you. We, we, have a, we have a video of you actually doing it and talking to your friends about it while you're doing it. Hmm. However, the danger is, is that any employee of the Bank of America can represent the bank. Yeah. and can have access to, to this data. Um, you know, what if someone in the uh, information systems department is bored at lunchtime and they go, well, let's just randomly pick some people and listen to what they're doing or watch what they're doing. Um, it's frightening. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you balance this? Uh, the, the, I think laws need to be enacted to restrict and limit uh, the, the acquisition of data like uh, photographs and videos and, and voice. Uh, and many applications turn on, um, uh, open up your email, read your email. I mean, for example, mm -hmm. uh, almost every uh, supplier of phones um, uh, and every carrier like AT&T and uh, uh, Verizon and so on provide standard utilities like um, GPS, location finders. This is a location finder for um, AT&T. You give it the ability to directly call phone numbers <laughs> to, whoops, hang on, let me go back to here, to, um, to read the phone status and identity, to record outgoing calls, hmm. to edit your, t does that record? No, to reroute outgoing calls, which is even stranger than recording. Mm. Why, would, why would you give someone the ability to reroute a call? Mm -hmm. You're calling mm -hmm. your, your wife at home and you've given them the ability to, to route that to anybody that they choose to read your SMS messages, to read your emails, to read your contacts, to modify your contacts. Why? Wow. For something whose job is to find your location, why do they need all these permissions? Wow. It's, a, it's a frightening thing if you delve into it. Now you talked about we need to have some laws about this and yet we see just this week, we see Dianne Feinstein, we see Daryl Issa, and I think Lindsey Graham. All these people are outraged that the CIA would be reading their mail. <laughs> this is an <laughs> intelligence committee. I mean, come on. 
treason has been committed. A and I agree. I think it is outrageous. I think it is treasonous. But they had no problem when they're doing it to everybody in the United States. It's only when they do it to them, to them that, they have, that they have an issue with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So it's, can, it's, we can't get them to obey the laws <laughs> when it doesn't apply. Right. To, in other words, they don't care about anybody's privacy except theirs. They do care because they, they understand how important right. that data is. But see, like the NSA and, and the, the, uh, the covert agencies within the U.S. government have to go out of their way to try to, uh, to plant software on you so that they can listen. You willingly give the Bank of yes. America that, that uh, <clears throat> capability. You willingly give hundreds of apps that capability. So it isn't just the government we should worry about. Mm -hmm. There are far more apps that corporations and individuals produce that you give permissions that invade your privacy far greater than the NSA. And mm -hmm. we think nothing mm -hmm. of it. And yet, to me, it is the same thing whether it's the NSA who's watching me for something illegal or whether it's the Bank of America watching me or, or whether it's some random person who's bored exactly. and would merely like to, to, to look into the private lives of citizens, it doesn't matter to me. It's That's still right. a violation. That's right. So I think we face a far greater threat from corporate America than we do from governmental America. Yeah, so many times people will look at something and they'll, they'll l recognize criminal action but given an excuse if it's the government that's doing it. But we also, when we look at this thing, we look at so many times, we say, what's the government going to do with it? We need to also understand, as you point out, that there's so many individuals. I mean, it's just human nature. Whether they work for the government, whether they don't work for the government, they can still do criminal actions. Right. So what, tell us about this app and what it, what it will okay, actually do. The, the app is named Cognizant. We've been mm -hmm. working on it for a number of months. It's coming out in five days. Uh, the app will, will basically scan every other app that you have installed and tell you what permissions you've given and give you a score. Uh, for this one, this, this application here would get a, a terrible score because it violates everything. Uh, <laughs> your camera, your, your, your uh, microphone, your, it reads your email, your SMS messages. It can write its own SMS messages on your behalf without telling you. Mm. Um, and so you can then choose. You want to keep this or not? And mm -hmm. if you choose not to keep it, you click get rid of it and we get rid of it for you. Problem is, like you said, unless we have some legal restrictions, a lot of this stuff is on our carrier in the it terms of, of, of agreement. So Absolutely. we can't just take that app out just unless we out. delete the carrier. Right. Well, right. What, what we need to do is have laws that restrict what carriers can do. I mean, mm -hmm. th their job is to, is to provide a highway for information, not to read that information, mm -hmm. not to manage the, uh, the data of, and change it and add to that data. No, that, that's a highway, you know. Mm -hmm. They should pave it and, and, and keep it fluid and, and make sure that the bandwidth is high. But beyond that, why should they have the right to find out where I am and what I'm doing? Certainly, yeah, that, that's our perspective on it, is that they just ought to be providing that service to us, but I think the government sees them as providing a service, service to, the to them. government as that's well. Correct. Right. And it's a hidden agenda that's starting to be exposed. It's a great way to do that now. How much is this going to cost? It's free. free. Uh, it okay. has no free. adware and it does not expire. Uh, I'm not trying to get money off of this. I'm really trying to do a service. I think the world really needs to wake up yes. to what's happening. We are blindly uh, using technology without, without understanding the risks. And the risks here are fully the risks to our privacy. Great. That's great. And that's going to be on all platforms, Android, iPhone? It's, it's starting out on yeah. Android mm -hmm. and we'll be moving to iOS and other platforms. Great, great. Well, thank you for doing that. So now You're for right. privacy, there's an apt for that, right? Cognizant. Like, <laughs> Cognizant. Thank you very much, John Thank McAfee. you, sir. Thank you. All right. And again, that app is Cognizant. It's going to be available in just a couple of days for Android. Soon on other platforms, he's making that available as a free service. You need to be aware of how you're being surveilled, not just by the government, but by anyone. Anyone can commit criminal acts, not just the government, of course. Now, another way that you can continue to be cognizant of your surroundings and the threats to you and your liberty is to become a Prison Planet TV subscriber. Just one subscription allows you to share that with 10 other people simultaneously. It's a great way to wake people up, to make them cognizant of what's going on around them, and it's a way to support our operation. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast.
My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the